Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, what is this? What do we call this? Like we saw that some organisms live in some area, some other organisms live in some other area. So what is the name given to this? Home for animals. So this home for animals is nothing but what we call as habitat. So habitat is the natural home or environment where an organism lives. So we can say that habitat is nothing but home of an organism. Now this organism could be any living organism. It does not necessarily mean that it is talking only about lions and tigers. So it could be any organism, even including the human beings. So for us, what is our habitat? So we live in our houses, right? But those houses are built in appropriate regions where we are comfortable in living. So we live in those kind of areas. So they are our habitat. Similarly, when you talk about these wild animals like elephants, giraffe, uh, monkey or lion, they live in forest. So forest is their habitat. In fact, forest is a habitat to a huge number of animals. So the way we need homes, every organism needs homes, whether it is a tiny insect or it is a tiny bacteria or it is a, a, a huge elephant. So all organisms need homes and the environment where an organism lives or the natural home of animals is what we call as habitat. So as discussed, forests are home to several animals, be it the wild animals or the birds or the insects or the worms which live in the soil. So a huge variety of animals actually live in the forests. Now let's talk about ocean as a habitat. So what are the different types of organisms that we see in an ocean? Now in oceans we can find fishes, now when we say fishes we can find small tiny fishes to huge fishes like whales and sharks and dolphins. You can find organisms like crabs, starfish, whale, seaweed, seaweeds are like you know uh, tiny organisms which tend to be there in the sea. Like how we have weeds, what are weeds? Weeds are the unwanted plants which grow on other plants, that's what we know. Now similarly these tiny, these kind of plants also grow under the sea and they are called sea weeds. Red algae, now uh, if you have ever observed, now red algae maybe you would have not commonly observed but the green algae is very commonly seen. You would see that sometimes the ponds or the lakes they get a green covering over their surface. So you do not get to see the surface of the water, instead you see grass like structure all over the surface. So what are they? They are nothing but they are a type of organism called green algae. Now these algae, these organisms are, uh, they exist in a variety of colors like green, red, brown. So red algae is another such organism which live in the sea. When we talk about habitat for plants, now plants again have many different types of habitats. There are certain plants which love to live in water. Now, for example, lotus, lily, you would have seen most of them in ponds or in uh, lakes. You talk about plants like cactus. So a plant like cactus, which, which look very different from the other plants which we see around us because cactus, they do not have leaves. Instead, they have spines or thorns over them. So their structure is such that they can survive with very less amount of water. Now, since they do not have leaves, so they do not lose a lot of water because we have learned in our previous lessons that in the leaves, we have tiny pores called stomata and through stomata, the plants tend to lose water. So in this case, the stomata is reduced, the leaves are not there, they are modified to spines and therefore they can survive with less amount of water and in deserts we have less amount of water therefore plants like cactus survive very well in desert you and as i said you talk about plants like lotus or lily they survive in water so they need a lot of water so they prefer uh, aquatic habitats Whereas if you talk about other plants which we see around us, they also need water. For example, you talk about a rose plant, a tomato plant, you talk about uh, all the plants in fact, sunflower or any other plant which you see around us. 
all of them needs water they also need sunlight so you know they can survive in a variety of uh, places but some plants they need more water if you have ever come across a paddy field have you seen the paddy plants from where we get rice so these plants are grown with more water so it's it's like kind of water logged that area is water logged so that too much of water is there and that that's like uh, the appropriate condition for the paddy fields whereas if you look at a rose plant in your garden you do not water it so much that you know the soil gets water logged because in that case it is not going to be beneficial for the plant so you just give sufficient amount of water so that the soil holds some water and it keeps giving the same to the plant gradually so different plants have different needs and depending on their needs they choose their habitat so some plants need more water like the rice fields or paddy some plants need less water like cactus which which have chosen desert as its uh, habitat whereas other plants like lotus with its wide leaves uh, they have chosen their habitat as the ponds thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.